All right, guys, so I am just gonna see if I see anything. adventurers today we are out doing some randonauting and we decided we're gonna start calling it Randy go hang out with Randy today so getting ready to do our first one our intention for our first randonaut is something beautiful so let's see where it takes us guys so there it goes it is a beautiful day to hang out with Randy today guys as you see we got the top down it's probably only like 65 today. This is so crazy, guys. It looks like a campground. Huh. Never been back here. No, I didn't know this place existed until right now. The Definitely a beautiful place to hang out. Um, look at these tree canopies. Check that out. Definitely did not disappoint when it came to something beautiful. There's a nice campground. Look at the campers in here. Yeah, sure. There's the office right there, I believe. Nice. Okay, guys, so we are headed out on our second Randy of the day. Right now, our intention is something fun. What do you think, Lise? Sounds like a good idea. That sounds like a good idea. Fun. Yeah, I'm always, I'm always down to have fun. Okay, so this is cool, guys. This is the first time we ever got this one. Uh, it says your point is on the water. Ooh. Try to get as close as possible. If you would like to skip water points, please check out the skip water points add-on. Uh, no, we don't skip the water. We love the water. So let's go check it out, guys. Let's do it. So as you guys can see, it's a good bit of traffic today. And a little bit bumpy. Sorry about that. The roads were so smooth all the way up to this point. And then, of course, I started filming again once we hit the, the rougher roads. We're getting pretty close to our destination. So as soon as we get really close to it, I will start filming again. And it looks like we're going to have to make another right down here. What are you thinking so far? Oh, there's a lot of water here. Well, this is cool. This is like a fish. Crystal manatee. I don't know what that is. Is that a restaurant or a hotel? Hunter Springs, that's it. I wonder if we'll see any manatees up here, guys. Okay, guys, so I am walking out on this boardwalk here. Hopefully we'll find something fun. Oh, there's a bird. That's cool. That's fun. It's like a great egret. Pretty. Tide is it currently out a little bit? Let's continue down. Let's see if we see anything else in the water. All right, guys. So this is actually where we ended up. Roger Girdleman Memorial Pier. So that's where we are right now. We are going to take you around and show you whatever there is to see here. Hopefully we'll see a manatee. Never know. Kind of exciting though because um, they're definitely out here. 
Three Sister Springs is not far from here. So this is really exciting though. Like this is, uh, this definitely lived up to being fun. I mean, all we saw was the great Igret so far. He's still down there hanging out guys. So we will just keep on and see what else is in here that may be fun as well. What a beautiful day though. This is definitely living up to its name. Fun for sure. There's just a big splash right over in this direction. I think that was a fish, guys. Oh, there's Lisa. I see her. She's over there on the bench. There's another beautiful bird, guys. I used to call them water ducks. I forget what they're called right now, but these are pretty cool birds. You see them a lot. Um, they'll jump in the water and splash around and then they'll sun themselves like he's doing right now. You drying off, bud? Do you have your bath? Sometimes they'll just sit on a rock and spread their wings way out. It's pretty cool. What you doing? What you doing? Check it out, guys. They have a clear kayak. I've been seeing these on uh, Instagram. And actually think it would be a lot of fun to go out in one of those one of these days. So we might have to do that. Be sure to leave a comment if you want to see us do that sometime soon. So, manatees definitely do frequent this area. There's a sign for you right there. As you can see, it's pretty shallow here. You can see pretty close to the... Oh, you can see the bottom from here. It's a little bit windy out here today. Lots of people out on the water. Comes a pontoon boat. They do the manatee tours as well. So you guys know how much I love the water and how much Lisa loves the water. She's actually here. She's just not all the way out here on the pier like I am. This is definitely fun. Randy knows what Randy is doing because we said we wanted to do something fun, and here it is. Like, what could be more fun than this, for real? This is amazing. There goes the pontoon boat off into the sunset. Lots of nice boats out this way. There's a marina right here across the way. I think I see Lisa making her way to the end of the pier. She's gonna be excited to see the clear kayaks. Y'all wanna hear something really weird? Legit, Lisa was just telling me in the car that she wanted to go to a kayak shop. And here we are, and there's all these kayaks over here. So like li literally she can look at all these kayaks and decide which one she thinks she likes. This is insane. This is actually a rental. I don't know if they do sales. They may, but um, <laughs> look, look at all the options. It's unreal. So, you know, again, that's fun. I was just telling everybody how we were legit just talking about 
going to a kayak shop. Oh. And like you have all these different kayaks in front of you to look at right now. Oh. I don't know if these are rentals or these are rentals. What are the chances though? Okay, cool. <laughs> I was like mesmerized. So what are the chances that this will happen? Right? Got the water. I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. Matter of fact, they I was just showing everybody they have those clear kayaks here. I saw that. They're yes. laying over there too. So I don't know where the place is that you actually rent these, but I think it's I think it's right up the street. I saw the truck they buy. I was just saying, I don't know. Maybe they sell them there too. They may. But I think it's right up the street. We could go talk to them. Well wow, guys, so that was totally awesome. This is gonna be our last Randy of the day. And our intention right now is something a little creepy. Let's see what it's got for us. place over there one day it's um it's got beaches and kayaking and there's giant uh water like trampoline and obstacle course and all that cool stuff so we might have to do that huh yeah all right it looks like we're supposed to turn left here Are you kidding me right now? Are you seeing this? <laughs> Guys, this is the cemetery where the mausoleum is. We've been here several times. This is the home of the mausoleum. Very peaceful and beautiful here though, I will say that. But, it can definitely get pretty creepster. What do you think? Especially when it gets dark here. It's very creepy. Yeah. I mean, it can be creepy during the daytime. Um, especially when you get in the very back areas of this cemetery. We've heard a lot of different unexplained sounds back in the back area. Right. Uh, previously. I swear I thought I saw somebody standing over here. But there's nobody there. That was It looked like a woman. Can I go back? No. <laughs> There's nobody there. Like yeah, there's I, I can see there. clearly. Like there's nobody there. I'm so sorry. I thought it looked like it. Oh yeah. Okay. There's benches. Spirits. We might have to turn on the necrophonic for a few minutes and see what we hear. Well, guys, I don't even know what to say. This is crazy. That we said we wanted something creepy, and it brought us here, of all places. This is crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on the necro, see if anyone wants to talk to us. Maybe, maybe the spirits wanted to talk to us and that's why it brought us here, I don't know. But like I said, I thought I saw a woman standing back there and when we went past, there was nobody there. So that's got me a little sketched out too. <sighs> Did one of you bring us here? Yes. What's your name? Why did you bring us here today? Cuz. Do you have a message for us? Is that why you wanted us to come here? We're going to drive by the Native American burial mound. I just heard something in the trees. I think I heard something too. What's in the trees? Is it a raptor, perhaps? Of course. You? Or one of you a raptor? If that was you, can you please make that sound again? They did it. 
in the tree. It was, more, it was a little more distant, but I heard it. All right, we're gonna continue driving back here. Do you want us to go look in the mausoleum? In it. Yeah. All right, I guess we'll go back. Should we look in the, the main mausoleum or these ones here? No, the main. main. Oh my goodness. All right. That was specific. Lisa's not happy about this. <laughs> But, uh, oh, you know, we got to do what we got to do. We have our directive. I'm telling you, all you got to do is ask sometimes. You'll be surprised Day. how spirits rise to the occasion. I'm gonna leave Lisa out here. Okay. And I'll be right back. Keep an eye out. Going in alone, guys. I'm doing it. It's gonna be all right. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? So, I don't know. try to get it to focus. I don't know for whatever reason it was blurring, which you know what that usually means. Not really seeing anything out of the ordinary. I don't know guys. I'm not sure why I felt compelled to come in here. I just did. What was that? Hello? It sounded like it was a chair, but they're not even close together, so. Uh, yeah. I don't know, and this is kind of creeping me out that's squeaking. Oh, and now it stops. Nice. And there it goes again. Okay, we out. I heard something again. Out here is where we heard the um, musical instruments, guys. What was it? A uh, um, saxophone. Yeah. I believe it was a saxophone. It was, it was over this way, right behind the mausoleum. I do hear something actually, like rustling. Hear it?
Look at the hawk. The hawk. Oh, oh. Right there. Right there. Oh, it just flew right above our heads. Above our heads. It's big. Wow, that was wild. It's Raptor. Is he? Mm. He's going over the mausoleum. And it's weird because I didn't find anything. Although the chairs did make a sound. But nothing surprises me anymore. You know, with these cemeteries and what are those? What are those sandpipers? Those are sandpipers. Why are they going here? I don't know. Go closer to them. There's another one. Where'd they go? One's over here. Come on, come on. These are sandpipers, guys. These are beach birds. There's two. There's some over there as so. well. Yeah. That's cool. Aren't they adorable? There's he's standing on a grave. These are so adorable. Hi guys. These are beach birds. This is so weird. Look how fast they run. Lightning. Did it say lightning? Yeah. Lightning. This is crazy, guys. Yeah, these are beach birds. These are definitely beach birds. There they are. Look how beautiful they are. See them? Mm -hmm. There's two over here, too. Did it say leave? You want us to leave? This woods is creepy down here I'm looking at. I've always had an obsession with, with sandpipers since the Disney short came out, The Sandpiper. I always loved that movie. It's really cute. If you guys haven't seen it, you should definitely check it out. So what is the significance of the sandpipers here? Is that why we were supposed to come here? Everything today has been water themed. You're right. Everything. And they are water themed. That, and even though we asked for something creepy, it ended up being a water theme. That's crazy. They're talking to us here. Him? Every time I say hear him, the EVP says, yeah, it's a female voice. Hear him? Yes. Yes. You ready? Ready for what? Ready for something. Hmm. Tonight. What's, ton what's tonight? Aren't they cute? Well, I'm a little bit obsessed right now. What is there saying here? They're not flying away. Hi, Lay. I just heard Lay say here. Birds. Where are the sandpipers going? Going. In a million years, did you think you would see a sandpiper in a cemetery? No, that's... I mean, I don't think about them until I go to the beach and you see them running right. around in the sand. I mean, they're basically seagulls. Right. With long legs. Right. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and turn off the necro. That is so creepster. That fence is broken down there. Really? Mm -hmm. it smells good, though. It's not... It's mm -hmm. like fresh spring. It's a good smell. It is a good smell. Mm -hmm. Those birds are probably a positive. Oh, for sure. Whoa! Was it a flock of them? Yeah, it looked like they were chasing each other. Really? Right as Lisa said, birds. There was a flock of sandpipers, guys. No joke. They just flew across they here. Across the Where'd they go? Did you see that them? way? They went like bam across. I believe most of the stuff that you encounter in a cemetery is spiritual. You know, it's weird because we, we were hoping when we got here that we would see turkeys. Yes. But instead, <laughs> we saw two other types of birds. We saw the hawk and we saw the sandpiper, so that's pretty cool. 
I mean, you know, we're not out of here yet. We may still see a turkey. That would be amazing. Maybe down here, maybe there's turkeys. Maybe. What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. No. Like metal clanging? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, slowly. Oh, is there another bird? I don't see any metal to clang. That pole is there. Right, but it didn't, like it didn't move, right? Mm -hmm. That's weird. Heard something in the woods. Turkeys? Bubble, bubble. You hear this? Here, turn off the car, man. I hear something. Mm -hmm. Listen. Hello? Someone coming from this tree. Hear that? You don't hear that? Yeah, I heard that. What the freak is that? I don't see anything. Oh, it sounds like a squirrel, but it must be like a goose squirrel because I swear I don't see a squirrel. What the hell? <laughs> I heard something else. Doesn't it sound like a squirrel? Yeah. It's nothing. Like legit. I don't it's see anything. Looking, I don't, I don't like, I mean, my eyes aren't that great. Lisa has better, uh, much I better know, eyes than I do. Like movement as well. Oh. Hear it? I don't think it's pretty far. What the freak? This is driving me crazy. I want to see it now. I don't see him, guys, but I'm still hearing stuff. This is so weird. Like, it sounds like the squirrel's legit, like, right next to us. Like, <laughs> do you think it could be a ghost squirrel? Maybe it's a cemetery. You never know. You never do. I'm waiting for something to land on our head in a minute. All right, maybe we should roll. Okay, that's crazy. There's nothing there. <laughs> it's really loud. It's really loud. guys so this is the area where we came that one night and there was somebody hanging out back here so I'm gonna be really careful I just want to go see if there's anything weird that might be back here because you know sometimes with Randonautica you find things so let me just go back here real quick see if I see anything and then we are out all right guys so I am just gonna see if I see anything Get ready, get ready, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. 
Guys, there was legit somebody coming up on me back there. That's an insane hat. I don't see them now, but they were coming around that corner. My heart is just like pounding out of my chest right now. Why did I do that? Why? <laughs> Why did I just have to do one more thing? That's always when I get in trouble, when I do just one more thing. Okay guys, that has been one heck of a day. What do you think? It has. We've traveled a little ways too, back and forth. Yeah, yeah, we did. We probably traveled what? Like 50 miles at least today? Probably. Mm -hmm. Probably at least 50 miles today because we wanted to mix it up a little bit. Our first intention today was something beautiful. Totally came true. Our second intention today was something fun. That totally came true. Our third intention today was something creepy and we ended up here with like phantom squirrel sounds and the uh, sandpipers, that was wild. I mean, that wasn't creepy, that was just kind of going with the theme of the day. But, you know, it, it all worked. It all like went together like crazy. So, I am pretty much shocked though that we ended up here. Of all the three places today, this one shocked me the most. But all of them were cool. Like, Randy knows what Randy's doing. Is all over the place. It sure did, and you know what? It was a perfect day to just be out on the road with the top down, carefree, enjoying ourselves. So, we love you guys. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. We truly appreciate it. And we'll see you on our next Raptor, Raptor Adventure. Adventure.